Hey, Pat Palmer here in Albert Lee, Minnesota. Today we are taking in an event called Chapel Con. This guy in the red shirt is responsible for bringing people to Albert Lee, Minnesota. Gilbert Johnson Jr., how are you doing today, Gilbert? I'm good, I'm good. How are you? Good. What, where did you come up with this idea to, to do this in Albert Lee, Minnesota? Well, I'm from here. Right, right. Yeah, so I really wanted to do something here in my hometown. Uh, bring something that I love and enjoy to everybody here. Sure. Yeah. You you do have a business here in town as yes, well I too. Do. Yep. And, and that the is Chapel. Okay, the yes. Chapel, and that's a comic a book store. Comic book store and a tattoo shop. Both. Great, excellent. I see you do have some work on you. Yes. So, so of course, but everybody does nowadays. Yeah, so yeah, right. let's talk about uh, the immense planning. Now, I saw this event on a poster in a truck stop, I think, in Waseca, Minnesota, yeah. six seven months ago. Oh yes, it's been a year and a half in the making. Yeah, and um, I can't yeah. even fathom. <laughs> where, where, where did you start? Uh, started with just trying to figure out who we wanted as guests. That was the biggest. Mm -hmm. uh, what what could pull people? Right. What could draw people to us? I saw Lou Frigno and I yes. said I'm in, and then I said then then I saw uh, David Faustino, but but Bundy, and I yes. said oh yeah. So yep. those are the two main people I'm interested in. But who else is here? Uh, we've got R.J. Mitt from Breaking Bad, Sean Davari, Molly Holly, they're both the wrestlers, Sonny Ono and Perry Saturn. Perry unfortunately couldn't be here right now, he's been in the hospital, but he's going to try and be here tomorrow. Uh, we've got, who else, Eugene Clark from Land of the Dead, uh, Melissa Cohen from The Walking Dead, so you know, they, they, it really spans the gamut of, of things to see in Something, and I've gone to a lot of uh, the Hollywood shows they're called, and I've gone to the one in LA, and I've gone to the one in Chicago a few times. This is a bit different because you also have uh, some some comic book dealers and things, but you also encourage people to do the cosplay, the dress-up yeah, stuff. Absolutely, absolutely. And that that's kind of a new element for the younger people. It is, yeah. And people love to dress in costume, and they love to see their favorite superheroes and and action figures come to life. Yeah, you know? I mean, I've seen kids that are probably as young as three years old to people older than sixty dressed up in wacky outfits. Oh yes, yeah, and that's definitely. just fantastic. Let's. Uh, I, I want to give a shout out to our good friends from Oak Leaf Collectibles in Mason City, Iowa. They are here. They're right across from where David Faustino is. They have two buildings. One building here, but it's two areas here set up, plus a lobby. And it's just uh, a lot of people are here this morning. You've got stuff outside as well too. What's yes. outside? Uh, paintball outside, and a couple cars are out there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You just don't have stars here. You have. Let's show you the, uh, the famous DeLorean is here. Yeah, and, uh, the future, yeah. and what else do we have here uh, for cars? The Jurassic Cheap, uh, Park Explorer, uh, a mystery machine, Rancho and Randy Savage's Harley. The car outside is from Fast and the Furious. Yeah. The computer guy's uh, view is outside. Oh, that's another story. <laughs> but uh, anyway, let's talk about uh, the volunteers you have here because you wouldn't be anything here without people at the door, people parking cars. No. Yeah, the volunteers have been fantastic so far. Uh, completely willing to help out and do anything they need to to make this a success. About how many? 70. And I see your dad's one of those. Yes, my dad is <laughs> nice, too. Yeah, nice. my mom too. Okay, <laughs> yeah. and then you have, uh, you have VIP parking here, and this is, what, what location are we actually in? The Albert Lee City Arena. Okay, you have got VIP parking here, but you also have shuttle parking from two other locations. Yes, uh, Skyline Mall and uh, Southwest School. Okay, and those guys, just they're very efficient as yeah, well, too. Yeah, was running every 15 minutes. Yeah, so. it, it wasn't even 15 minutes. We were on a bus and we were here. So, yeah. again, Gilbert, thank you very much. No I know problem. this is uh, not only a, a time-consuming undertaking, a financial undertaking, yes. but uh, i got to think plans are in place for next year. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> it really <laughs> all depends on this. Sure. Well, yeah, I, so definitely. far what I've seen is a decent crowd. Uh, you're going to have more later on today, and I'm oh, sure yes. you're going to have more tomorrow as well. So. I hope so. Anyway, we are here at Chapel Con in uh, Albert Lee, Minnesota for a big day, two days actually, today and Sunday. It's a big event if you're, uh, you know, like me from Iowa, just drive on up, it's not that far, and you don't have anything going on anyway. You might as well go meet the Incredible Hulk, Lou Frigno, David Festino, uh, Bud Bundy, who were uh, a couple of people that were on my absolute list, and you'll want to see all the stars here, and uh, these costumes are incredible as well too. So that's what's going on here in Albert Lee, Minnesota. I'm Pat Palmer.
And we are back with uh, Gilbert Johnson Jr. here in Albert Lee, Minnesota. He was uh, kind of the, the uh, organizer of ChapelCon 2017. Gilbert, how are you doing today? I'm good, I'm good. Just kind of surprising you in your, uh, in your studio today. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Walking in off the street. And, uh, but what a, you do have a, a real neat, to, you have not only a, a, a comic book and, and a collectible shop, but you also have a tattoo shop yes, as well, yeah, too. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. so anyway, I didn't know, uh, multifaceted here. <laughs> yeah. So anyway... Let's talk about the topic at hand. How was a scale of one to ten, ChapelCon 2017, the first go round? How was it for you? Uh, I would. Let's go uh, on the optimistic side and do a nine. Good. Yeah, yeah, Excellent. Yeah. I mean, everybody seemed really happy, and all of the celebrities and the vendors and the and the people were all ecstatic. I heard so many good things about how you involved Albert Lee. It just yeah. wasn't your deal having it here and that was it. You involved a downtown street dance yes, afterwards. Yeah, yeah, that was a blast, yeah. Now let's talk a little bit about the nuts and bolts of, of ChapelCon 2017. You had a VIP section. You could pay more money. You could do other things with the celebrities. Yes. I think there was a dinner out. There a was, dinner, yeah. Now, mm -hmm. How did that go over for the folks who took advantage of that? Oh, they all enjoyed it. I mean, it was fantastic. Being able to hang out, not just go get a signature but mm -hmm. hang out with these guys uh, it was phenomenal for them we had to have a favorite i know lou frigno is here and david faustino were the two guys that i came to see but uh, who else was here and who else stood out as a, a fan favorite well rj was a huge fan favorite because he was he's so personable and uh he he was out talking to everyone mingling and you know just meeting people that was his thing eugene clark also what a showman I mean, he was out there dancing and singing and nice. in his zombie uh, oh, wow. outfit, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, they were, I mean, all of our celebrities were fantastic. They all did well. Ming and Mike, they were fantastic as well. I mean, you can't say enough about you it. You had a lot of vendors. How did they yeah. uh, make out? How, how was their, you got to keep vendors happy. Yes. And how, how were they, how was their mood? Well, they, honestly, they were all happy. Good. In the end, I, you know, we maybe had a couple little bumps in the road, but that that's kind kind of normal for mm -hmm. a first show. Mm -hmm. uh, most of it was stuff out of our control. Right. Uh, Wi-Fi access, yes. uh, parking stuff, mm -hmm. you know, stuff that we can't control. Right, right. How did the parking work? Now, for me, it was a snap. You just got on a school bus, two minutes later, you're at the yep. venue. How did yep. that work? It worked out fine. Uh, we did make a change to that now this year. Okay. There won't be park and ride anymore because we're parking right next to the arena. There's a huge five-acre lot right there. Now, let's, you've alluded to this. Now, let's talk about that. What about Chapel Con 2018? <laughs> yep. Well, we're in the works. Uh, things are, are already moving forward. Good. So, that's a good thing, yeah. I heard uh, that uh, the day I was there, people were talking about well, next year, this year, next year, this year. You know, yeah. What are a couple, let's give me a, a top two or three things. What's going to be different next year? Parking is one. Parking, definitely. Uh, all the vendors now, we're moving to one area. So right. all of the vendors and artists will be all in one spot, all in the main arena. We're taking all of the entertainment and moving that to the back arena. Okay. And food and all of that stuff. So it'll be all housed there. That way, all the you can go to shop in one mm -hmm. area and go to, to play in the other. Now, one thing, I keep track of your Facebook posts. And now, uh, celebrities, agents, and whatnot are reaching out to you yes, now. Yes, yes. Isn't that a neat Very feeling? Very exciting, yes. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Getting a phone call from Sam Jones the other day was, I was like, wow, okay. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so yeah. you're talking to me now. Hmm, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> so any uh, any hints? Uh, we're, and I mean, we're early on, on yeah, this for next year. but any early. Uh, I'm in talks right now with Burt Ward. Uh, at, uh, mm -hmm. Robin mm -hmm. from the original series, yeah. Sam Jones, obviously, yeah. uh, Flash Gordon. Right. Um, I'd like to bring in uh, Penelope uh, Garcia from uh, Criminal Minds. Right. You know, there's a few names out there that are still we're playing with right now. Burt Ward does have some contacts in Des Moines, so he's back here every once in a while anyway. Yes. So it'd be uh, a great, and plus he likes to raise money for his... Uh, his big, huge dog shelter he's yes. got, too. So yes. Anyway, well, Gilbert, it's um, I, I kind of just stomped in here and said, let's do this. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Let's That's keep fine. in contact yeah. over the next six months yeah. and, and find out where we are. Sounds good. You bet. Pat Thank Palmer you. here on Random Access, talking ChapelCon 2018. You won't want to miss it.